Well, good afternoon, everybody. So EG4 released an updated firmware version for the 6500s, 79.71, and that is supposed to give you the ability to control the neutral ground bond relay using the menu system. So let's take a look at that firmware release and we will see exactly how it's supposed to work because I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll look and we'll find out together. So my assumption with this update is that it's basically designed to consolidate the need for having two separate firmware updates. So in February-ish, I think, Signature Solar came out with a stationary update or a mobile update. The stationary update was a common neutral update to where it completely disabled the ground neutral relay. So that would expect you to basically create your ground neutral bond someplace else in your environment. Typically it's coming from your main service panel or it would be in your first means of disconnect just after your power source which would be these. In the mobile firmware the ground neutral relay would be enabled. So when you're in battery mode that relay would activate creating a ground neutral connection. And when you're in grid bypass mode, the relay would disconnect using the ground neutral bond from the AC input connection. This new firmware update negates the need for both of them because it creates a menu option which allows you to enable or disable that relay. So while the firmware is updating on my inverters, I wanna take a minute to just show you a couple of things. In the firmware download, folder. So if we look here on the computer, here's the download that, that comes. You can see we've got the DSP, the MCU, and then two files. One is the PowerPoint and one is the changelog. So when we open up the changelog to see what's new, we can see 79.71 in here. And I made this picture a little bigger so that we can see it better. But the note says, add neutral ground relay control function the setting 42 to disable, the relay will short the input and output neutral always as following C block. The setting 42 is disable, the relay will close on ground or floating side when inverter work is in battery mode as following A and B block. The default setting is disable. Now unfortunately they have in their change log disable twice, so we don't really know exactly what is supposed to be enabled. So it's kind of confusing. I like that they included the picture. So if you don't have your ground screw, then when it bonds, it does, there, there's nothing for it to bond to, it seems like. The relay does switch, but there's no ground screw, so it won't bond to anything. So A and B have to be when the relay is enabled. At least that's what makes sense to me. When option B has a ground screw, so when you're in battery mode, the relay will create that bond to, to ground because you have that ground screw uh, in place. And option C, I'm assuming, is when the bond is disabled, the, basically the common neutral aspect. Uh, your neutrals will always be tied together. And they did include a PowerPoint in, in this, which is, is nice. Uh, it should be helpful, so let's take a look at it. We'll help you test for neutral ground, bond, power on the inverter. So, so they're telling you how to get to the menu. And you're gonna scroll up until you get to option 42. And so you're gonna see if option 42 is a new option, enable or disable. To disable the ground neutral bond, select enable. Why are we enabling to disable the bond? The only way it makes sense to me is if option 42 is supposed to be termed like a create common neutral. So if, if option 42 is create common neutral, then you would enable it to disable the relay. See, that makes sense to me, but we don't actually know what option 42 is actually called. So it, it's, it's very confusing. 
uh, to make sure these settings stick, use a multimeter, check for continuity. Now a problem with this picture that I see is you can't check for continuity when you have wires connected. Because if you have a, a neutral bond created somewhere downstream, you're just going to be testing the neutral bond in your next panel. I hope that makes sense. So you really want to go through here and remove these wires before you test for, for ground neutral bond. Uh, let's look at the next slide. To enable the ground neutral bond, select disable on the screen and then check for continuity. So uh, again, you got to remove the wires and disable, I mean, unless it's backwards. If they have enable and disable backwards in the documentation, then that's, that's one thing. But it seems like maybe it's supposed to be enable comma neutral, disable comma neutral, and then the underlying function is enabling and disabling the relay. That's what makes sense to me. So I, I'm hoping that Signature Solar comes out and actually clarifies this, this documentation because it's, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And the last one, if you follow these steps, you'd be able to select your ground neutral bond with no issue. Well, if they clarify the information, then sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish wrapping up the firmware updates and then we'll actually pop open the case, disconnect the wires, and actually do some testing on this new setting and see, is it enable or disable? Let's find out. All right, so before I go and power everything back on, so the firmware update's done, I powered everything down because it has to reboot because it's in split phase anyways. I wanted to open up the one inverter. I'm gonna disconnect the AC in and AC output, and I want to probe the terminals while the unit's off to see what the off state is of that relay. So we're going to switch our multimeter on first. Got it on AC. Fortunately, there's no good place to put this, so we'll just hold it up there and hopefully you can see it. All right, so we're going to check our voltage on AC in. Nothing. And AC out. Nothing. Now we have to keep in mind the battery connection is still hot. I didn't turn everything else off, so don't go messing with stuff in here if you still have live power coming in. You remember that old saying, uh, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so I'm going to get those pulled so then we can check for continuity between the different connections. All right, you can see my lines are disconnected. Now we're going to switch our meter to do a continuity test. If there's any complete circuit, we will have a beep. So let's first test neutral to ground. Nothing. Okay. Now I want to check neutral to neutral. Nothing. Okay. So there is no bond while the unit is off. All right, so the inverter is now on. So we are going to check between continuity from the AC output, since we're in battery mode, between neutral and ground. So there is no continuity between neutral and ground, because my unit does not have a screw in it, bonding the two together on the inside. Now if I check neutral to neutral, there's no continuity there either. So it's not passing through. So if we look at the option now, so option 42, hopefully you can see this on the screen. It's on disable by default. If I switch it to enable, and that beep was my multimeter timing out, back out. There was a click between the two inverters, so that option does pass between the two inverters and is synced between the two inverters. So you can see it's enabled. Hopefully you can see it. So if we check our continuity now between line, or neutral and ground, nothing. 
neutral and neutral. Now there is pass through. All right, so what is this telling me? It's telling me that by default, when you install this firmware, the neutral ground bond relay is enabled, which means that it's gonna switch back and forth. So when the display says disable, when option 42 says disable, it actually means the relay is enabled. And then when you switch the, re the option to enable, the relay inside disables the, ugh, this enable uh, <laughs> this enable disable thing is going to drive me nuts because it's backwards who's on first right <laughs> when the menu is enabled the relay inside is disabled creating if we look back at the document creating option C here, which binds the AC in neutral to the AC out neutral. Hopefully that makes sense. As far as having the ground screw and not having the ground screw, if the unit is set to disable, the relay is active. So it's gonna be switching back and forth, whether you're in battery mode or AC input. Uh, grid bypass so you will not have that ground neutral bond unless you have that screw in place signature solar stopped including the bond screws in what October 2022 they stopped including those screws in the units it seems like they have to start including those screws again if they're going to be defaulting these units to disable thus enabling the ground neutral relay. I hope they end up clarifying this in the documentation that this option is more of a enable or disable the common neutral as opposed to disabling the relay because it's completely backwards. If you're gonna enable the relay, you want the setting to be enabled. If you wanna disable the relay, you want the setting to be disabled. So they, they either, ultimately they have to come up with a terminology correction so that it's clear to people what option 42 actually does. So hopefully this helps everybody in my particular environment. I want the common neutral. That's, that's how everything is supposed to be set up. So I'm going to have my option 42 as enabled so that the relay is disabled and that that common neutral is created. If I've lost you with this whole back and forth enable disable thing, just think of it like this. And I know I've said this before, but this is it's really a confusing update. Think of option 42 as the common neutral option. Is it going to create the common neutral? Yes or no. Do you want the common neutral enabled? Yes or no. If yes, that's going to be the times where you have a ground neutral bond somewhere else in your environment, like the old stationary aspect. If no, if you don't want the common neutral, you want the inverter to switch back and forth. So you wanna disable the common neutral. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that clarifies a little bit. It, 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 it makes my mind feel like it's melting just trying to keep this all straight because it's, it's poorly documented, really. So I hope this all makes sense. I know it's a lot of back and forth it uh, it was really a confusing update. And if I'm completely misunderstanding how this is supposed to work, hopefully somebody's gonna correct me. But this is my limited understanding of, of how I understand it to work. It seems like for all units going forward, Signature Solar's gonna wanna have to start including that ground screw again. I don't know. I was asking for this option in the menu system for months. I'm glad that it finally came out and hopefully that it just doesn't create even more confusion for people. So with that, I'm gonna let y'all go. My brain seems fried just from enable, disable, disable, enable. <laughs> so y'all stay safe, stay cool, and we'll catch up with you later.